Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Janke. I'm coming to you today from my classroom here at Smith Cotton High School where I teach uh, high school social studies. Um, for this week's vlog post, we were supposed to focus on an entrepreneur from the postbellum world. Uh, I decided to go with Henry Frick, and I found Frick interesting because he has uh, a, a back and forth kind of positive negative legacy during this time period. Um, so he started out like a lot of entrepreneurs with a series of unsuccessful businesses before he hit kind of the thing that really got him going. Um, and so that ended up becoming the, in the Coke industry, coal. Uh, initially coal and Coke were, were heating homes, but eventually with the steel industry growing, particularly under Andrew Carnegie and Carnegie Steel, um, the, the need for the Coke grew. And so after a chance meeting with Andrew Carnegie in New York City while Frick was on his honeymoon, uh, he decides with Carnegie to go into business together to partner his Coke industry with Carnegie Steel industry to essentially monopolize uh, the entire industry overall. And so H.C. Frick and Company and then Carnegie Steel formed U.S. Steel, which ended up um, really monopolizing the industry. And so Carnegie and Frick, their relationship was pretty rocky. Uh, Carnegie did try to force him out of the business uh, a couple times, um, but it really wasn't until the Homestead strike that things became got really negative for for uh, Frick. And so the Homestead strike was where uh, the 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 workers of the Homestead factory decided to strike and for better wages, better working conditions, things like that. Now Frick was very anti-union, as well as. Rockefeller, Carnegie, and others, but he was definitely kind of the more uh, volatile anti-union of, of any of the, the industrial magnates during this time. And so during it, he actually builds a fence all the way around the factory. Um, so the workers dubbed it Fort Frick at that point. Um, but then Frick also hired what was the, these individuals called the Pinkerton agents. These were like a militia police force. Uh, things got out of hand, and the Pinkerton agents actually opened fire and killed nine of the workers and wounded about 37 others. And so through that process, that really put on the national level that, look, these, these you know, industrial, super mega wealthy magnates needed to be kind of brought down and checked, and that unions were good. Unions were just trying to fight for working conditions and pay and things like that so that people just lived a, a healthier life. And so that really kind of put that at, at the level. And so when you're analyzing the impact of Frick, this is where it gets interesting because he was wealthy. He was important in terms of growing the steel industry, which is, if you look at it, in effect, grows our entire country and how we build bridges and buildings and things like that. But it was also um, because of the Homestead strike and just his actions, like he also had an assassination attempt on him, um, that it, it, it really showed that unions were needed in this country to kind of reel in and make sure that working conditions were good enough so that people could uh, live quality lives and get paid a wage that was that was fair and honest and according to the work that they were doing. Um, and so his importance is overall uh, on this time period is massive. And so I, I kind of tied this to David Meyer's Midwestern Industrialization and the American Manufacturing Belt in the 19th century because in that article, the things that he was talking about directly came from, or you could find relations back to uh, Henry Frick and the fact that he needed to, or he monopolized uh, the industry. And then because of the Homestead strike, the push for unions grew as well. Uh, you could tie this to Teddy Roosevelt and other presidents becoming antitrust presidents, trying to break up these companies, um, things like that. And so Frick's legacy, not just on the Coke industry, not just on the, on the steel industry, but also on just U.S. industrialization and industry overall, um, you, you cannot overlook that because he was so impactful uh, on, on many different facets, on many different levels. So found Frick, uh, Henry Frick very interesting. I hope you guys did too. I look forward to seeing your comments. Have a great rest of your day.